Hey loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be showing you guys how I take my own Instagram pictures. But before I show you that, I kind of want to talk about the essentials that you need in order to take pictures. So the first thing you're going to need is a tripod. You're going to need a iPhone holder and you're also going to need a clicker. These are the essentials that are like a must. You can find all these on Amazon. I'll link them in the description below. But also I will say for tripods, I would recommend kind of investing in a good one just because it just makes stuff so much more easier and you have more stability. So I would recommend going to Best Buy because I saw some really amazing tripods on Best I saw some, <laughs> I saw some really amazing tripods um, at Best Buy that were only around like $20. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, also, this stuff really allows you to stop uh, becoming dependent on people because when you start becoming an influencer and just taking your own pictures and stuff, uh, sometimes people don't have the time to help you with your pictures and stuff like that. So it really, it allows you to become way more independent so uh, you can get your content in when you need it. And then also another thing that I want to bring up is content batching. When you want to dedicate some days to take content, what I would really recommend is plan out your outfits and stuff beforehand so that when it's time to take pictures, you can get like three three fits in, uh, in a day. Instead of doing a fit Monday, another fit Tuesday, another fit Wednesday. And another thing I will say is you, you, you watching this video right now, you guys need to stop thinking that you're not photogenic. When I started taking pictures in the beginning of the summer, when I started being serious about like being consistent with my pictures on Instagram, the first time I got dressed up, I found my location, I took pictures with all the essentials I told you, I hated them. Second time I did the same thing, I hated them. Third time I did the same thing, I hated them. And then the fourth time I was like, oh my God, like these pictures are actually coming out really good. So you have to understand that every time you take pictures, especially when you start, they're not gonna come out the best. That's just, it kinda is how it is. And also I wanna give a shout out to my best friend Shelby. I'm gonna post this picture right here. Uh, excuse me, at one point she didn't think she was photogenic. Do you see this picture? That's what I'm saying. Follow these tips that I'm gonna give you and I promise you in no time you guys are gonna be taking pictures like a pro. So let's go on this journey to uh, me taking pictures for Instagram today. All right guys, so I'm on my way now to take my pictures. Um, some pointers that I will say is that when you're looking for specific places to take pictures, the best places to take pictures are outside where you're close to a solid wall. Another thing that I would uh, point out is that it's also good to take pictures if you're inside where they have windows from the ceiling to the floor. For some reason, the lighting is always amazing there. And then another thing is just look for uh, spacious places that uh, are very minimalist because when there's too much stuff in the background and it's super abstract, it just takes away from you. But lighting is like the key point when you're taking pictures. I'm tired. Lighting is like the key point. And also when you're taking pictures, make sure you bring a snack. Like I literally have barbecue chips and water in my backpack. This is my, this is my, uh, ow. this is the, backpack that I bring literally carries everything has my tripod and everything in it so I'm gonna walk to my location and then I'll start vlogging again when I get there <clears throat> okay y'all so I'm in the parking garage right now man I've went to so many locations and I've got kicked out of every single one because for some reason they private property or whatever. I don't know. They're super strict in LA, especially when it comes to me. I don't know. But let's go take some good pictures. Parking garage. Parking garages are amazing places to take pictures, especially when they have like a rooftop parking garage with open sunlight. Chef's kiss. Definitely go take pictures there. Also, like this outfit, I guess, wouldn't really fit a parking garage, but I'm just doing it for YouTube. But I. I will say though, streetwear picks with parking garage, with a parking garage location is always so good. So basically what I do is I just, I'll have my clicker in my hand and I'm literally just moving the whole time. Uh, I have to like hide the clicker hand, so I'm just moving the whole time and 
just clicking away basically and uh, just taking my pictures basically and then sometimes I'll throw in a cute little bag or accessory because uh, it just makes stuff easier and funner and you can just try different stuff. You're basically taking a million, a million pics like this basically. So yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to take a whole bunch of pictures and you let me know. Do you think? So basically what I do is I go to a parking garage, I find a very empty space that's pretty quiet and I just keep clicking and taking my pictures until I find some pictures that I really like. So basically what I do to help with uh, not taking way too many pictures is I'll start posing, I'll take pictures with my clicker, after I get about about like 30, I'll go back to my phone, I'll swipe and then I'll notice like certain angles. So like those first 30 pictures, try to do like different stuff with your body and all that. And then when you're swiping back, you might be like, oh wait, like I actually really like when my face is tilted towards the left or something like that. So pay attention to stuff like that because that helps uh, your process go way easier because if you don't like your face this way, why are you keep taking pictures with your face that way? Tilt it this way if you like it better that way, you know? Maybe it's just not a good face day today. Put some sunglasses on, you know? Like, maybe you don't know how to pose today. Get some accessories or start posing with a bag or something. Like, you really just gotta uh, figure out what works best for you. Because some days, there have been plenty of times where I've taken content. And uh, this is easier when you're indoors or you're like, in a lobby or something like that because you could always just change really fast in the bathroom but there's some days where i literally go to like the amenities in uh a building i'm in or something like that and i just don't like my outfit and i have to go back upstairs to change so stuff like that is normal too like sometimes the first outfit that you decide to take you're not gonna like anything so i don't know it's just it's just like that sometimes it's a win-win sometimes it's a lose-lose you just i don't know you never know i literally got chipotle because I didn't think that I was really gonna, I literally didn't think I was gonna be able to take this video because I was getting kicked out everywhere. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope this was super helpful. I was literally all over the place today, but if it's helping you guys, it's worth it. So please let me know in the comment section below what you guys wanna see from me and I hope you guys have such an amazing day.